This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free offer for my viewers. Now, inflation isn't something that we've heard of in a while, is it? But last month, the inflation rate in the US had the highest rise in the last 29 years. You heard me right, the last 29 years. That's a big, big problem for all of us with food and gas and everything else going up. But it's terrible if you're planning on retiring anytime soon. You need to put up a sort of inflation dam to stop it from wiping out the value of your savings and investments. It's not too late. Noble Gold specializes in retirement planning and IRAs. So their team of experts is your first step. This month, they're offering a one ounce American Eagle solid silver proof coin with every IRA or 401k taken out. Not many people can relax with inflation this high, but like thousands of others with Noble Gold, you'll be okay. Visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com or just click the link in the description or pinned comment. Gus Joseph D. McBride, attorney for Richard Bego Barnett, seen here in a widely circulated image from the January 6th attack, sitting in a chair in House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. It's very important not to lump everybody in, not to define every protester that showed up that day as an insurrectionist, which, by the way, no one has been charged with. Jeffrey Tubin, one of your own legal analysts, has said that insurrection should not be used in this case. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I have yet another embolism-inducing clip from CNN for you. It's an interview between propagandist hack John Avalon and the defense lawyer for Richard Barnett, who's been sentenced to eight months in prison for the high crime of putting his feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk. An innocuous action that this CNN host calls, quote, an attack on Nancy Pelosi's office. Meanwhile, Antifa goons who literally threw bombs and attacked a federal building for months get off with nothing. Barnett's lawyer says that his client and other protesters who were confined in solitary confinement are literally being tortured by the government. But the CNN host isn't actually interested in doing any journalism, but rather being a communist style propagandist who's running cover for his dear leader. You wrote an essay for LinkedIn uh, in, in which you said this, uh, like the Gestapo did in Nazi Germany, the federal government is targeting anyone who dares criticize the decision-making process, questions its motives or challenges its legitimacy. Uh, Look, Nazi comparisons are usually a sign you've lost the argument. <laughs> Seriously? This guy just claimed that if you reference Nazis, it means you've lost the argument. A guy on a network that has been calling their political opposition Nazis for the last four and a half years. But do you still believe the federal government is acting like Nazi Germany in its prosecution of the capital attackers? Like the Nazis, like the Soviets in the Gulag, innocent men are, and women are being held in what we are calling DC Guantanamo Bay, pre-trial, absent any finding of fact. Pre-trial, they're being held for hundreds of days in solitary confinement. They're being beaten, they're being starved, they're being denied medical care, they're being denied, denied the right to worship, they're being cut off from their attorneys, they're being cut off from Mr. their McBride. family. Wow. Did you see how he was laughing while this lawyer lays out the clear human rights and constitutional violations against these American citizens whose only crime was being in the area during the mostly peaceful protests? He doesn't care. Not only does he not care as a supposed journalist, which he isn't, but he doesn't care on a basic human level about his fellow American citizens. Why? Because he and the rest of the Democrat state media have been demonizing their political opposition to the point where he probably doesn't even see us as human beings. Beings. Remember, it wasn't that long ago that all these same media people were up in arms about the treatment of mass murdering terrorists in Guantanamo Bay. So you went on a Russian television station to plead this case and make this point. Do you think if an, if, a, if an attacker broke into the Kremlin and sat at Vladimir Putin's desk, he'd be treated better or worse than your clients been treated after attacking the Speaker of the House's office? Attacking the office? What the hell does that even mean? Do you really think that he would give a damn if a Democrat protest ended up in, say, Marjorie Taylor Greene's office and they put their feet up on her desk? Of course not. It would be forgotten in a week. Just look at how quickly the media forgets about the attacks on Republicans and ICE facilities that they incited. Look how quickly they forgot about the thousands of Democrats rioting and attacking Bush's motorcade in an election that they claimed was stolen. Just look at how they quickly forget about the attempted insurrection during the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh, which they also incited with big lies. 
Latvia and the United States government does not want to hold itself accountable for the human rights violations that are taking place at D.C. Guantanamo Bay, then who better to hold us accountable than the inventors of the gulags of themselves? That is why I went there to prove that makes a point. Absolutely America no needs sense, to sir. wake up and understand that people are being tortured. Tortured? Are you okay tortured. with people being tortured? What's the example you have, Bert? Would you like to cite the White that? House right now? You're Would saying like people are being tortured what? by the White House. I just want to be clear. Because that's an extraordinary Torture statement that would seem to be utterly unbased in fact. Oh, no, they are based in fact. And when the, tr- when, when the truth about the circumstances of confinement comes mm-hmm. out, you should be you should hold yourself accountable for what you're saying right now. Do you think people should be held accountable for attacking the American Capitol and trying to overturn an election, sir? Tortured. He's supposed to be holding power to account, but instead he's just helping to cover up and attempting to discredit the critic. He just doesn't listen. This guy said pretty clearly that they're being tortured five miles from the White House. And this jerk just completely misstates what he said while arrogantly sermonizing about facts. Tortured. Are you okay with torture? Are you okay with what the What about ACLU the, people, the Capitol has, Police has who were tortured and out. attacked by the violent Solitary mobster? Does that bother you? Solitary confinement is torture. Solitary confinement is torture. Answer that question for me, good sir. Are you okay with pretrial detainees being tortured? <laughs> Riot police being attacked? Well, first of all, that's sort of what happens when riot police get involved in a protest. It's the bread and butter of BLM and Antifa, who this guy has run cover for while 20,000 police were injured by his mostly peaceful communist mob. Just everything this guy says is a blatant deflection. Just because some riot cops scuffled with a handful of violent protesters doesn't mean the government is now allowed to round up people who weren't even part of that and torture them. It My sounds like you and your clients still believe the big lie. The big lie? What does that mean? 75 million it people believe the big lie. It means lying about the results the, of the it, election. Mr. McBride, I want to thank you for coming on New Day, but I hope you would have more of a fact-based you know conversation torture with anything resembling okay. a sense of torture, perspective torture, about an attack on our torture, capital. Torture, torture, Joseph McBride, torture. keep torture yelling torture. Okay. We'll stick Abdicur with the facts. Thank you very much for joining it. us on New Day. The facts are torture. Just look at the hate in this guy's eyes. He would happily lie while the government rounded all of us up and put us away forever. All right, folks, my mind has been sufficiently gaslit which means it's time to end the episode thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment on your way out